So, uh, testing, testing, good. This is the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. Uh, I don't know if I should stand on the red, the red circle. Um, my name is Patrick Reziosi, and I'm here to inspire you. Welcome. I'm a film student here. And being a film student, you have to see a lot of movies. And when you go see movies, there's usually trailers before the movie starts. I thought, wouldn't it be a good idea if I gave you a trailer for my speech before it happened? So that's what I'm going to do. Sit back, relax, silence your cell phones, and enjoy the show. In a world where creativity and excitement are running low, one man must make a speech so powerful, so entertaining, that people's minds will literally explode. Why are our heads exploding? Patrick Raziosi is the speaker. Rated PG-13. Thank you. Now, that either got you really excited or really confused. Either way, it's fine. I'm still giving this speech. As I said before, I am a film student here, and I'm also a commuter. And while I love this campus, it's beautiful. I hate commuting here. The drive is exhausting. Getting in my car, taking the same route every single day, it could be so frustrating to have to repeat it. And what happens when you take the same route every single day is your brain goes on autopilot. An autopilot is scary. You see, you are repeating the same task over and over again. You are not aware of what you're doing. Your brain sees this as old information. It doesn't need to remember. It is scary when you're not aware, because when you are not aware, you are not changing. And I want you to picture this. You're on your way to class, you're driving there, and this is a class you've been to for a while now. You're almost there, but then you hit a roadblock. And now that roadblock makes you take a detour. And so you follow the signs, and now you're in a new part of town that you've never been in. You see new shops, new restaurants to take your friends, and you see a park, and you love parks because you love walking. So your brain is now excited. Congratulations, you are alive. You are now breaking the norm. So you get to class, but how come when you're there and you tell them all about your exciting new part of town that you've been to, how come you don't tell them about the old route that you've been taking? Well, you don't tell them because it didn't excite your brain. You didn't tell them about the exit nine sign you've passed a thousand times over or the Walmart that's been there since before you were born. You told them about the new town because it was exciting. That event, that detour broke the norm. Normalcy really does weigh you down. Normal is boring. Nobody's ever told a great normal story. So when you're telling these exciting stories, you are being an innovator. You cannot be an innovator and be normal. You have to be abnormal. You have to be crazy. You have to be a little insane. It is only when you are insane that you are creative that you are an innovator. To be an innovator means breaking the rules. Now, some people don't like this. And it's usually the people who have made the rules in the first place. But just remember, the only reason that those rules are in place is because at one point in time, somebody decided they didn't like the old rules and they wanted to change it. So knowing that the only reason you have freedom in any sense of the word is because people broke the rules, now we can move forward. To be an innovator is to say yes in a room filled with no's. The people that say no are the people who are stuck inside staring at their scrapbook or Facebook and realizing that they haven't done a thing. The people that say yes, those are the ones with the doors wide open. Those are the ones with stories to tell. To be an innovator means you are willing to change. Not only yourself, but the world around you. And I have the perfect example of change. And it's right here. Yes, this is a cell phone for those of you who don't know. This thing right here, this breaks the norm. The only reason this is not attached to a cord or a very large device that you have to carry around in your back is because of innovators. All the apps that you use on your phone to make your life easier or harder, depending on which apps you use, these things were all made by innovators. And the parts that are in your phone that get it to turn on, they were all made by machines. But the machines were made by innovators. The point is, everything around you Everything that you love, that you use, 
It was made by innovators. And the only reason it doesn't look like it did in the 1920s is because people were willing to change. It's a very powerful thing. So people like you and me, we could change the world. We could do whatever we want to. Marie Curie, a pioneer in radioactivity research and the first woman to win a Nobel Peace Prize, said this, I was taught the way of progress is neither swift nor easy. And she's right. Progress takes hard work, but the world is moved by people who are willing to change. It is infinitely easier to do nothing. Infinitely easier. But there's no reward in that. There is reward, however, in having hard work, determination, and breaking the norm. There is one event in my life that has taught me all this, and no words were ever spoken. When I was one, my mother got into a very bad accident, and she fell eight feet down into a basement. She would be paralyzed from the waist down, and all I would ever know her as was a mother in a wheelchair. But then one day, she decided to break the chains that society has placed upon her, and with the help of a few people, some braces and a walker, for the first time, she got up, and she moved forward. Her in that wheelchair, that was normal to me, and her getting up, that was breaking the norm. She was being an innovator, and she didn't even know it. She was changing my life. With two working legs and an open mind, what excuse do I have? None. So where do you go when you realize that your potential is limitless? The answer is anywhere. When you realize you can break the norm, all the opportunities are there for you. So how can we break the norm? Well, I've broken down to three things. Number one, you have to get real uncomfortable. I'm talking real uncomfortable, like really uncomfortable. Like right now, all of you are like, what the hell is he doing? It is only when we feel uncomfortable that we feel alive. Step out of your comfort zone. I guarantee you, you will be aware of your existence. You will realize that you are here. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone right now. I am making a speech to you all. This is something I've never done before. And even if this takes me nowhere, I still have a story to tell. The second thing, you have to break away from the people who are dragging you down. If you think that your life isn't going anywhere, take a look at the people you are associating yourself with. Break away from those people and I guarantee you, you will live a better life. You will be on a path that is a unique one. You will be yourself. And the third thing, this is my favorite. You have to constantly create. It is only when we are constantly creating that we are consistently thinking, that we are trying, that we are failing. It is only doing that that we are able to break the norm. If you have a creative block, you know how you get out of that? Trying something new. And I'm about to do something that I have never done before. Using my amazing artistic abilities, I am going to draw a giraffe wearing a top hat with my eyes closed. Some of you are looking at me like, uh, what? And how? I'm about to prove to you that breaking the norm and do amazing things. I'm gonna one-up it though. With my left hand, I am going to draw a giraffe wearing a top hat with my eyes closed. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. What the heck is he doing? What does drawing a giraffe with a top hat have anything to do with breaking the norm? I don't know, but he, you think he's cute? I think he's cute. Yeah. Do you like his hair? I bet his mom doesn't like his hair. His mom probably hates his hair. Did you see the latest episode of The Walking Dead? The Walking Dead was really good, right? Oh, is he done? I think he's done. Is he? Okay, okay, shh, shh. I heard what you said. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to see what breaking the norm can do? Can I get a drum roll? Oh, good, I, I was gonna do it, but that's cool. That's cool, thank you. This is my masterpiece. Here we go. Yes, so oh, thank you, thank you. Stop it. I'm aware that this is bad, I know. But that's not the point. The point is I just did something I've never done before. I broke the norm. Like I said, if you wanna get out of any creative slump, try something new. See, this is bad, but it doesn't matter. 
You're laughing at it, right? Yeah, I know it's bad. It doesn't matter what you do, do what you love, and then flip it on its head and do something different. If you are looking for that inspiration, that creative spark, that passion, that fire, here it is. When you go, when you leave this earth, people are gonna be looking back on the path that you've paved. They are not gonna know the things that you wanted to do. They are not gonna know the things you thought about doing. That's impossible. They are only gonna know the things that you have displayed to the world. So knowing that, are you gonna give them the same story that they've heard time and time again? Or are you gonna inspire a generation long after you're gone? Ask yourself these questions. And then ask yourself one more. Are you willing to break the norm? Thank you. You stay up there. Yeah. That was excellent. Oh, thanks. Thank I you. actually don't think I could create a better giraffe if my eyes were open and I was doing it with my right <laughs> hand. So very impressive, I thought. That was just fantastic. That work will be sold for $500. $500 outside. Hey, you know, maybe it. somebody I, would be willing to buy it. Does anybody have any questions for Patrick? Hi. Anything. You're all left speechless, I know. That was very weird. Any questions for Patrick? Come on up, oh, right over here. Hmm? There we oh. go. Oh, I want that. Anyway, we're going to give you a oh, microphone. Hold on. There you go. How do you find being in a university when you try to break the norm? in how you create yourself within classes in your film. Hmm. Oh, okay, well, um, being here uh, was very different for me. Um, but being in the film program, they give you a lot of freedom. So uh, when they give you that freedom, you're able to go out and do whatever you want. You're able to try new things. And instead of uh, standing over your shoulder and saying, this is what you have to do, this is what you have to do, they let you do what you want. They let you make the mistakes. So I'm creating different things all the time, and I'm finding out what I like. So here at the university, I'm doing it now. I'm not waiting until when I leave to do it. I'm finding out what I like now, so that later, I can do what I love. Any other questions? Right over here. Hey, I have a question. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Good. <laughs> uh, I will say, just a caveat to this, I competed against Patrick. And the second that I heard him speak, I just sat down and said, oh, okay, sorry. I, I shouldn't even have done the, the competition. He's fantastic. I apologize um, for that. <laughs> um, so being a student here, I know the question was asked, like, how, do you, you know, how, do you, how do you do that in the film department? Mm -hmm. My question is, to, a, to an average student, what would be like one piece of advice, like a one-liner, if a student says, man, I'm, like having, I'm having a hard time, what would be one piece of advice to tell that student, this is how you can, you can break the norm, this is how you can find innovation? Okay. Um, well, if you're a student and you're struggling and you're trying to figure out how to stand out, uh, look at what everyone else is doing. And even if it's good, really, really good, do the opposite. <laughs> I mean, r totally just ruin whatever it is that you're doing. And it's the only way that you are going to be able to break the norm. Break down. So if you see that someone is creating this project, create something different. It's the only way people are going to notice you. I mean, people are going to think you're crazy, but nobody remembers the people who thought people were crazy. Everyone remembers the crazy one. <laughs> I, I would know, again. <laughs> uh, so if you're a student and you're struggling, look at what everyone else is doing, do the opposite. Or, like I said, if you can't beat them, uh, die trying. That was great. That was great. Another round of applause.